Hi guys, welcome back to our Football Manager 16 series, The Rise of the Moors. This is episode two. Now, as you've seen from the highlights at the start of the video, we've had a really productive August. 100% records, we've won every game. Now, the tactic seems to be working okay. Some of the games, uh, the stats have been quite close um, and we probably haven't been scoring as many goals as we should have been. For example, going into the Worcester game, we should have scored five or six goals there. They were down to nine men. I didn't have opportunities to go to the fourth treble two um, because we literally didn't have any additional strikes to bring off the bench. But we were really struggling to score goals in that game. And actually we had to go onto an attacking philosophy quite early on, but we were absolutely dominating that game. And they had absolutely nothing to, uh, to throw back at us at all there. The interesting game was the, the Alfreton game. Going into that fixture, Alfreton hadn't conceded a goal, and that is match day six for them. So they hadn't conceded in six games, and we bossed it, we absolutely bossed it. And to be fair, we should have scored more than, more than three. 
The Corby game was very close and a 2-0 away win actually flatters us a little bit. I, th I think we were tired, our players were exhausted, they probably edged us on the statistics but they were just wasteful. Um, they're finishing, they, they had so many opportunities to, to score against us. Maybe it was decent defending by, by us really in a few of those scenarios but yeah definitely they, they should have got a goal there. So seven wins in a row for us, this is going to be match day eight I believe. Um, so seven wins in a row for Solihull Moors is actually a new record. Um, we've also picked up Manager of the Month award for August as well on the back of those seven wins. So let's just have a look at the, the table. So seven out of seven for us. Um, we've scored 15, I think, and conceded three, leaving us on 21. We've already opened a gap above uh, a group of teams below us. Um, but these are the big teams that we're really going to be, you know, really going to be uh, challenged by this season. So have a quick look at the, uh, the player statistics as well. So player of the match, Adam Walker has been bossed it really for us in these opening games. Uh, highest average rating 7.69. Gittings not too far behind as well, which is which is really good. As far as goals go, just Matt Godwin for us. Three goals. We're some way off some of the bigger scorers, but we've had to. Obviously, we're only playing one up top in our 4-1-2-2-1 uh, two, two, essentially formation. One up top. We've had to rotate some of the players. We've again had more injuries as well. Um, so let's have a look at the squad. Now, I have actually added a couple of players to, to the squad uh, since we were last here. I just couldn't resist myself. Brought in Alfie Young. He's a um, defender. Uh, he looks quality. Uh, he's only young as well, but I think he's going to have a lot of game time. He's only here for three months though. Uh, it's a shame that I couldn't bring him in on a, a full season loan, but he just wasn't, he just didn't seem to be available at the time during the early part of the pre-season. But we brought him in now, three months loan. I think we're gonna have to have a look out for another similar player at Defender Centre we can bring in on a short-term loan when Alfie returns to his parent club at Watford. The other player we brought in is Eric Odiambo. Now, this guy looks quality as well. He's a member of the Tanzanian uh, squad at the moment as well. He's another pacey winger, can play off the, off the centre, uh, and he can play up top as well. So, playing a few good positions. And we have a look at our squad as well then. I'll look at the, the stats for the, for the league. So, yeah, Adam Walker, Callum Gittings, and Matt Godden have had some pretty impressive fixtures. Now, obviously, Matt Godden up top, um, we've obviously had to rotate the striker a few times. Uh, he's normally come off the bench for us, but he's got three goals, uh, three assists in uh, six appearances, four of which were off the bench. Jean Michel Fontaine, he's injured again, unfortunately. He was injured in the last episode, he came back, um, he's played four games for us, a couple of which were quite quiet, but then he scored two goals in the Stanley Bridge game. One of them was absolutely fantastic. Jake Beasley is back though, so he was the other striker. He's probably gonna start this game as well. Um, his, his physical condition, you know, needs a little bit of work on, so we'll see how he gets on. So that's where we are at the moment then. We've got Harrogate today who are sitting in sixth, so it's another team that really we, we need to be taking points off um, just to open up that gap around, around us. Um, and really, we should really be continuing our good run of form as well. So kudos to anybody who has spotted it. I did have a bit of a, an, an error after recording the last episode. Um, and unfortunately, I actually lost the AFC filed result. So I had to replay that one. Um, we won 3-1 this time. It was my mistake, won't happen again. Let's move on. So let's get into the game. Right, so they're backing us really to win this game, probably because of our form. Are we setting up as a 4-4-2? I'm not going to be changing our, our tactic though. I think stick with the 4-1-2-2-1 the that we're, we're set up as. So Odiambo is actually away on international duty, which is a, which is a shame. Um, but we can bring Matthew Fletcher back in and he can sit on the, uh, the left wing. I'm actually going to start with Godden because he's, he's been getting us a few goals to be fair to him and I'll look to bring Beasley on 
from the bench. I mean, his match sharpness isn't 100% yet, um, but we'll, we'll have a we'll monitor that. Gittings, we really need to get involved as well. Um, and the other person we've got to bring on is Armson. He's, he's not going to be happy with me if I don't if I don't bring him on. So I'll bring Armson on to the the bench. I think for this one, I think I'll Gittings. We need to get involved though. Gittings have been playing fantastic, but Burn and Walker have as well. Um, this is the problem, and I shouldn't have gone down this route of signing so many players. And it's it's <laughs> I just couldn't resist. I couldn't help myself really. But let's get Gittings on the bench. I think. Um, so we've got Beasley on the bench, getting Garner, Theo Street on the bench as well. Um, might have to swap him out for, for Alfie Young. He might get a bit tired during the game though. Other than that, pretty pretty standard setup for, for us. Not changing too much, but definitely some of these players are going to have to utilise a lot more in the next in the next few games. Louis Garner I've been bringing off the bench to some some success he's obviously got the one goal for us so far he seems okay maybe he'll get a decent run in the in the the team in the next few games as well so the instructions we haven't changed it too much though the tempo i've just upped ever so slightly because sometimes we're just you know being a bit wasteful around the box tends to retain possession um staying on the standard for for this game we'll see how that goes okay all right let's get to it so we should win this game, but I, I don't think it's going to be as comfortable as, you know, five to two favourites, really. A lot of the fixtures we've had so far have actually been, you know, quite close, really. We've just been a bit more consistent with, with taking our chances compared to the other teams, though. So it's closed down there wide, men, because in this game it, a lot of the danger comes in when we're when teams are on the overlap or we're you know looking to take crosses into the box as well and to be fair that's the same success we're having that success as well so let's do that then right then more to come from you, the midfielders, got faith in yourselves, and Matty Garden, faith in you as well. Well, we'll see how we get on. I mean, it'd be fantastic to go eight on the bounce. I think at some point our fitnesses and the fixtures might uh, take their toll on us, but we'll see how, we'll see how we do. First five minutes, quite a cagey game so far. Not much between the teams. We haven't created anything just yet. And we've won that. Cut that one out. Showed on the right now. Through to Walker. No one really with him, but he's found Fletcher on the left wing. Big cross in. Garden. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. That was a that was a great chance. And his form as well. I expected him to put that in. It's a corner to the Moors now. It's whipped in. On the edge of the box, that's been cut out. But the clash in um, in kits again. Had that a few times this season already. So we're now dominating possession after about 20 odd minutes. Pass completion rate is, is pretty decent as well, 75%. No shots on target though, but we are making chances, some chances. So we really need to have some long ball forwards, and they're through here. But oh, the keeper spilled it. He could have left that and. We've given the corner away. If the keeper had left that, it would no danger at all there. It's whipped in, and it's away. So average ratings, no one's really impressing so far though. Oh, how has he got that in? The keeper's had a mare. And to be fair, we had been conceding Shots to, to Harrogate, but the keeper should have done a lot better there. Time to go on, on the control. They demand more from the teams there, just not. What's, what is the defender doing? And he's through. Knowles has put it wide. Who was that? Was that Dean just walking away from the, the scene of the crime? And they're all over us. We've got the possession, but they're all over us. 
And it's a goal mouse scramble and Simpson manages to, to collect that. This is this is not looking good to us. Take off the retained possession. We need to we need to work a little bit harder here. It's Glasgow throw in now. Walker Glasgow. Get a decent ball in mate. To the edge, Sheridan. Oh, good save. Green down low to his left. It's corner to the Moors now. Fletcher to take it, he's whipped it in, it's caught, in. it hasn't beaten the first man again, that's pretty poor to be honest. And Harrogate are going to be walking away with this. It's approaching half time now, we, we've conceded a lot of shots to, to Harrogate uh, and we're just not putting anything on target uh, ourselves. Adding to Sheridan, Burn in the middle. Through to Walker, can he find can he find Godden? No real challenge on Walker yet. There's no real pace though. He's gone for God, that's just terrible. Shocking. There's no real option for him though, so. Well Godden's had a, a pretty poor game so far. I'm, I'm gonna bring him off for Beasley. Let's get Beasley. He needs to uh, get us some goals here. That's what we brought him to the club for. think stick on the control because we've still got the possession really that's uh, we're still doing okay on the possession so we just need to make that count now Matthew Fletcher and Sheridan are two wide men they're not playing particularly good either uh, I'm still man more from them again they're just not playing well really here's Fletcher there's no one really with him Walker Oh, that's poor. Walker again. Haddon. Is he going to find anybody? Burn. That's it. Finding it out wide to Glasgow. Glasgow whips it in. Ah, it's just cut away. Oh, that looked like a handball, but he's a long ball in. Fletcher gets there, and it's a goal, and it's Sheridan. Third goal of the season for Jake Sheridan. We are back in the game. It's 1 1 now. That looks suspect, isn't it? Long ball forward. Fletcher. It was a great leap. Heads the ball back across the mouth of the goal, and it's Sheridan there who who beats three defenders to the to the ball. Try and make a substitution now because our midfielders are looking pretty tired. I'm going to bring on Gittings now. I really want to bring on Garner to play out on the wing, but yeah, James Arnton. He's going to wait till the next game. Bring him on for Fletcher. We'll swap Sheridan out onto the left wing. Um, getting he needs to be the central midfielder for this for the last uh, half an hour or 20 minutes or so. So confirm that. And give them a team talk. And encourage them for the last 20 minutes. I think we can still nick a result here. They've had a lot more shots than us, and to be fair, if they had any more on target, then we'd be in trouble but it's 1-1 and we're going into the last few minutes here we're looking tired and that's it that's the end of the game it's a 1-1 draw well, it says we should have been winning that game perhaps we should have but we, we didn't play particularly well there and, and in fairness to us we hadn't played particularly well in the last couple of games well the last game against Corby we weren't particularly outstanding because of fitness I put that down to Maybe we've had our comeuppance now. So seven, it was only seven wins on the bounce for us. 100% uh, record is over. We weren't good enough. So we're still top of the table. Alfreton have jumped up to, to second now. They're five points behind us. Harrogate have dropped to, to seventh. I think that's a good result for them, to be, to be honest. But as the stats are looking, seven shots on target for Harrogate. Uh, 15 only 11 for us we just weren't that creative today we weren't creative enough today and really that that's a that's a lucky 1-1 result for us we go back to the Vanarama North so we're top of the table uh, after eight games we're, we're still undefeated I mean I'll take that it's a good start for us we need to make sure we're not dropping points though against some of the other teams around us because we can't get caught by a lot of our rival teams. I mean the interesting thing is I think Solihull Moors this week have gone uh, 17 games undefeated so the next couple of months we'll see if we can replicate that. 
So when we come back in the next episode, we're going to be away to Tamworth, which looks like it's going to be a, a, a tight game for us as well. In between now and then, we've got a few games that we, we really should pick up. Uh, well, we've got three games and we should pick up nine points from that. I'll be unhappy if we don't. Uh, we've also got an FA Cup qualification round as well with the draw yet to happen. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the Rise of the Moors in episode three, which will be away at Tamworth. See you then.